Our next question comes from Seth Flasher with Popular Science. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, I, I have sort of a two-part question. I just want to make sure that I totally understand the nature of this license. I'm, GM has been testing uh, manganese spinel cathode chemistry from LG Chem since 2007, uh, as I understand it. So is the license that's being grant announced today, uh, does this mean that uh, LG Chem and GM are just now getting licensed to the North American patent that covers that technology that's been in development for three years and is currently in the volts that are being sold. And then I guess the second part of that is uh, what, if that is correct, and it's a, sort of a manganese spinel uh, license covering, you know, umbrella patent, um, what is this new chemistry that we're talking about uh, that the press release talks about and how has it evolved from what is in uh, generation one volts? Hi, Seth. This is John Lochter. Let me, let Hi, John. Me, how are you? Go ahead, how are you? Let, let me take a shot at this. Seth, what we've licensed is our patents and intellectual property that cover what we believe can form the basis of the next generation okay. of lithium ion cells. And I believe in the press release or somewhere in, in a supporting document, uh, Argon, uh, you know, has, has named the chemistry, and help me, Jeff, if I get it wrong, but it's uh, lithium-rich, Layered, layered composite cathode material. Okay, something, something similar to that. So it's a, uh, it, it's not the chemistry that's in the pack. Uh, the, the ones that we've like, it's not in okay. the in the pack today. Rather, it represents new intellectual property that okay. leads to cells with greater energy density and potentially lower cost. Gotcha. Yeah, this, this is Jeff I'll, Chamberlain. I'd I'd like to offer one clarification on that. Uh, it is specifically not the manganese spinel. I'm surprised to get that level of detail on this call, but um, <laughs> it's, it's the nickel manganese, nickel manganese cobalt material. But, nickel manganese cobalt, okay. But in our claims, they're, they're quite broad. It claims an entire phase space. So um, some of the material, although it's manganese spinel based, and I would let LG comment on this, some of our components are in their structure that they're using today but that is separate from what John is saying about how you can, inside the same claims, there's a broad enough space to move this, the stoichiometry and the physical nature of the material inside the same claim space to a more advanced version of the same material. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is Mohammed Seth. And I, I add uh, maybe another sentence to that. I think uh, what John and uh, Jeff said it is uh, absolutely right. But you have followed our chemistry very well, and as John has also emphasized before, that of course we are trying to increase the, the specific energy and the life and the, of the battery and lower the cost. We are also doing a lot of work uh, to improve and modify and tailor our chemistry to address those concerns. And this broad set of patents you know, allow us, give us the flexibility to carry out that work. So whatever we have started out with, Generation uh, Gen 1 or the Volt 1 uh, uh, will slowly migrate to a different, you know, composition of the cathode uh, as we envision now. And we, we hope to increase the specific energy, lower the cost, improve other features of the battery for the next generation of the volts. So we okay. have the flexibility and the platform to continue to those kind of work. Okay, but the battery chemistry in the generation one volts is covered by a distinct patent from what's being announced today. That is also captured within the scope of this patent also. Okay. And that's why I tried to make that statement right at the get-go. I knew that question might arise. Yeah. Okay. Our next question comes from Stephen Ashley with Scientific American. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi there. Uh, I guess I'm going to uh, just ask a question a little bit follow on onto what Seth was asking. Um, if I got this right, uh, Jeff, it's a nickel manganese uh, 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 cathode, or, and I missed one word. What was the final material in there? Cobalt. Cobalt. Okay, so is that the first reference to the mixed metal oxide combination that we're talking about in the press release? Yes. Okay, fine. I understand. And then they're talking about layered, layered, so it's not only a different. Uh, chemical uh, cell system, but it's also a, a, 
some kind of special confirmation or morphology that allowed that's similar to maybe that nanostructured phosphate or something like that with that, that other people use? Is that the idea to, to get the charge in and out faster, that kind of thing? Yeah, it's a composite made up of the two different, of that basically of, of these two types of, of alloys, if you would say it that way. So it's Understood. a composite, one of them being active, one being inactive, one stabilizes the inactive, stabilizing the active component. I see. Very good, very good. And then... Generally speaking, I think we, on the cell level, this, this can take a higher voltage charge. Is that what we were talking about before, rather than talking about the pa uh, battery yeah. pack? I think there was some confusion on that. It. Yeah, it, it's the cell level voltage that you right. can go higher to extract the energy, not the voltage coming out of the outlet. So that has nothing to do with the charging system or whatever. I mean, uh, at least. Uh, overtly with the charging system. Itself. Right. It might affect the battery management system, but it's not, it, again, I would defer to GM and LG, but the intent is not to directly impact the, the charging coming out right. of the wall. Gotcha. And then do I understand that this runs out, it could run, at least, theoretically at least, at a higher temperature? Is that correct? Well, the data says yes, but that's not the intent. The intent is just to make it safer. Okay. And, and run at the lower temperatures. Oh, okay, fine. But but I see that you're also using the uh, LG Chem's SRS separator technology with us that uh, actually is resistant to higher temperatures, correct? Yeah, that is, that is this is Mohammed from... Uh, Hi, Mohammed. Yeah, so this is our concoction, and that, you know, that is, you know, apart from the, you know, argon pattern, yes, this, so we, we do our own, uh, you know, modification to the chemistry, and uh, so we come up with our own, you know, an electrolyte development and separator development, which, you know, uh, as you know, this in a special separator we have, you know, to give it more robust character to the cell. Uh, gotcha. So that is our concoction. I see. I see. Okay, great. Well, that's pretty much what I needed. Thanks so much.